God's Good Gifts to Man From the Children's Bible By Henry A. Sherman and Charles Foster Kent At the time when Jehovah made earth and heaven, no trees or plants grew on the earth. For Jehovah had not yet sent the rain, and there was no man to till the soil. But a mist rose from the earth and watered the ground. Then Jehovah made man out of dust taken from the ground and breathed into him the breath of life and man became a living being. And Jehovah planted a garden in Eden, far in the east, and out of the ground he made grow all kinds of trees that are pleasant to look at, and good for food, also the tree of life, and the tree that gives the knowledge of good and evil. Then Jehovah took the man, and put him in the garden of Eden to till it, and to care for it. And Jehovah gave the man this command, You may eat all you wish from every tree of the garden, except from the tree that gives the knowledge of good and evil. From this you shall not eat, for if you eat from it, you shall surely die. Then Jehovah said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a companion for him. So out of the ground Jehovah made all the wild beasts and birds and brought them to the man to see what he would name them, and whatever he called each living thing that became its name. But for the man himself there was found no companion suited to him. Then Jehovah made the man fall into a deep sleep, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The rib which he had taken from the man, Jehovah made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, Because she was made from my body, she shall be called woman. The End